Cindy A. Lewis here, and I got a new tool to show you. Uh, this is the Cordless Marker Airbrush, and it looks like it's pretty cool. So we're going to try it out. It's by We Are Memory Keepers, and you are going to love it. New to my channel, welcome. I'm so excited to have you here. If you are coming back and you are part of my YouTube family, welcome back. I'm excited to talk to you. So anyway, let me tell you about this little airbrush. Now, I've not used it, and it is by We Are Memory Keepers. It's got, it's this cool little tool that airbrushes these markers, and it came with markers and a little stencil, and I have not tried it yet, so we got that, and then you, I got some extra markers with it and more stencils. So I thought we'd try it out and see what you think about it. We had fun last night on live and we looked at the, um, you know, the fuse tool, which was really cool. So let's give this a try. This is a rechargeable battery that you use a USB charger. Really easy peasy. I love trying new tools and new things out with my YouTube family. It's just so fun. So um, you get to see it first, right? Okay, so we have all these little, um, you know, stencils to use. I like this little dots. So we're just gonna try that on a, a white card. So I've got some cardstock over here to my right. I'm gonna reach for it and just gonna fold it in half. Look, I have my pictures on there. So I'm just gonna fold it in half. Um, this is just a test, so we can, I guess that is one sheet. So we can just try it out and see how it works. Um, not worried about the card itself, but I just wanna try it all out. So we're just gonna put this on, on here and the way this works is you put a marker inside it. So I'm gonna take a marker and I'm going to start with say, what do we start with? What's the rainbow start with? Like a, maybe red. Let's start with red. All right, so you slide the marker into this little space here. I guess until it pops in there, I don't know. Well, let's just try it. So you push this little button. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's so cool. You guys, oh, <laughs> okay. All right, so, um, yep, you saw it firsthand. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little bit at the bottom here. Let's see if you can see it, all right. Okay, and the darker you want it, the longer you hold it like down if you want it darker like that. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one out. <gasps> that is so cool, you guys. All right, then we're gonna go orange. So we'll go with the orange. You just pull the marker out, slide it in all the way, and, and it blends too. So we're just gonna do this. Okay, and then we're gonna go yellow. I don't know if this is the right order or not, but hey, <clears throat> it's okay. And we're gonna go yellow. You guys, fun. All right, here we go. Has anyone seen this before? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, and then we're gonna go green. I'm gonna go the light green marker. This is like coloring on steroids, you guys. All right, here we go. Ready? Let me scoot this down just a little bit. Green. All right. And then what I need to do is blue and purple, but I need to shift this up a little bit. <gasps> Look at that, oh my gosh. All right, that's very cool. Okay, I'm gonna line these up a little bit. So my dots are about the same. Here we go. I guess they're not exactly the same. All right, blue. Now I gotta see where my green stopped, right? All right, here we go. Oh, 
And then we're going to do a darker blue and then purple. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a pink at the top. <clears throat> I don't know if that's the normal colors, but that's what I'm going to do. All right, here we go. Talk about fancy up a card. A plain white card. This isn't even like stamping. This is just cool. All right. Ready for the big reveal? I mean, you already seen the half reveal, right? Here we go. Oh my gosh, guys. Of course, I got to lay my, my stuff right, but I could cover that with washi tape or something, you know. Just put washi tape around there. You wouldn't really know. Anyway, very cool. Very cool, you guys. All right, let's try this love here. This is black. And if you want it darker, then you just go over it more, I guess. Just like that. And let's let that cool a um, cool dry a bit these markers are really nice all right and i just put a little washi tape to hold it down so it didn't move look at that very cool and then you can just put it on your card or you could actually spray something on the card so i don't have those glued down yet let's try something else so say you wanted to put a heart on it. Let's just put one here. And we'll take this washi and kind of hold it down a little bit. Let's cover up the ones that are right around it. And we'll just do a little pink for the heart. We're just gonna do it a little pink. And like that. And then do a little blue to mix with it. This is a fun tool, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right. And then, let's see. Kind of sprayed over too. If you want to totally cover it, you may want to do that. Look at that. So you wanna be careful of your overspray. You wanna do that. And then let me show you, just cleaning this stencil off is really easy. Just with a baby wipe or a, a little hand wipe. Baby wipe. Yeah. All right. And of course, your stencil can be used with this ink spray over from the overspray from, from the, um, marker itself when it gets on here it's pretty cool so you know if you wanted um you know another something something just say love which we just did love but we could easily do it again so we'll just do this and hold it down got to be really careful the overspray if you don't want it to um, get on anything else that might still be a little wet. So we'll just take the love and we'll just do a little purple love. I could just see playing with this like all night long. You could make all kinds of stuff. All right, so here we've got love and um, I've just got some scraps around here. Just cover it. All right, like that. Okay. Okay. That's the purple. So you do have to be careful of that overspray. If you use something like this, is it just fun watching me? I don't know. <laughs> it's fun playing with it. All right, and there you go. How fun is that? Okay, so I'll tell you what. I have some, some stickers over here and I wanted to try it out on some stickers. So I've got these from uh, Tuesday morning that I picked up and they're really fun. They're wooden stickers. So got this 
I love you. This I love you. And I'm going to take, I'm just going to cut it off instead of, you know, because I don't want to put the sticker down. Really? All right. So let's cut it off of here. And now this has a gold heart on it. And if you don't care if it goes over that, but if you do, you may want to cover it up. So let's just see how hard it would be to cover that up. I don't know. Might be kind of hard. All right, so we'll just try that. Now, if I wanted to just give this some color on my, this is a little wood sticker. I just, and then say I want to go with the purple. How about yellow? I'll do yellow and see how that goes. All right. And then, and this is just overspray, okay? And then let's do a green. And we'll just put green here. And I don't know. All right, so then, got my heart, and it kinda needs it, right? So, so we'll just do that. There we go. How cool is that? So what an easy way to paint your wooden stickers, especially the ones from Dollar Tree. Doesn't that look cute? I love it. We're gonna try one more. Okay, let's try this one with the forever and always. So we're just, I'm gonna put some at the top and some at the bottom. And then I'm gonna take this orange and put it in the middle. And you can still see the gold and uh, uh, foil. And then the forever and always is still there. So that looks cool. And what a cool addition to this wooden sticker. I mean, I made my own. It's like a sunset. <laughs> okay, let's try um, one more thing. Let's paint this white frame from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna open this up. I'm going to take the glass out of here because I don't want to paint that. And then, okay, on this one, the whole thing pops out, which is perfect. Okay, so we want to paint this and make it really unique, right? We want to free, free do it, you know, like airbrush it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the colors that I like the best. So I like, I like these the best. And I'm just going to stencil them on. Or not stencil, but spray them on. This is fun. Fun. Okay. So we're going to start down here at the bottom. And I'm just going to do it sideways, uh, cat diagonally. And see how it looks. And if it looks good then this is a really fun way to update your you know your frames and stuff that you buy all right here we go now one thing I want to do is mix the colors so I want a little bit of each color all right this is gonna be so nice okay we're gonna go green Yep, it works. Now, one thing that I am seeing is that the, you know, the frame is soaking it up pretty well. All right. So what do you guys think so far of this really cool airbrush from We Are Memory Keepers? I'm gonna scoot this down some. Do you like it? What do you think about it? Have you heard of it before? Have you tried it? <laughs> this is cool. All right, and then we're gonna do the yellow at last because the yellow is gonna be the lightest, I think. All right, here we go. And then you have a little bit of overspray. Look at that, you guys. Is that amazing? Amazing. 
So the overspray comes over the sides, which is fine, kind of goes on the inside. And then you could just take something else that you're brushed and put it on there with your picture. I mean, this is, this is cool. Anyway, this is the We Are Memory Keepers airbrush. It's a marker airbrush, it's cordless. So you just charge the battery with this little USB and just plug it in, charge it. It makes a really cool airbrush, you know, uh, apparently on a lot of things. My favorite, I think so far even, are these wooden stickers. How cool is that? Um, with the kit that I got, and yes, I got it from to send. I got extra markers and all those stencils, extra stencils, and just a lot of fun to play with. So I hope you enjoyed this. And, you know, if you did, um, have you used it before? You know, I like can make a comments below and let me know a little bit more about it. I mean, this is really my first time playing with it. I love to try things out with you guys and find out what you think and, and everything. And so anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a fun night and we'll talk to you soon.